This is your ESPN Alamogordo Tiger After the Week Spotlight, brought to you by the Winter Circle, Vision Ford Lincoln Hyundai, and McGinn's Pistachio Land. This week's athlete is Cheyenne Drake of Lady Tiger Cross Country. When you look back at, at all your time with the cross country teams, what, what do you think is going to be your favorite memory from running cross country? Um, probably just all the experiences I've had with my teammates. You know, like I've been on several different teams since I've been running since I'm a freshman. So just meeting all the people and just enjoying all the runs. District, uh, you led the team, finished in fourth. Probably, uh, would you feel like you had your your best race uh, of the year? Yeah, definitely. This year, that's probably my best race. I haven't had I haven't had much opportunities to go out and race this year due to soccer, and it was definitely nice to get out there and focus specifically on cross country and get ready for the championship season. At this point now in your senior year, was it just kind of old hat to be doing soccer and cross country at the same time? Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely used to doing both, but each year it brings new challenges. So, Do you feel like maybe you were your most fit in this year in your senior year, or have there been better years where you felt a little bit better physically? I or? think this year is the year I've, I've had it down the most, like I know what to do, and um, I think I've been pretty good at leading the other soccer girls as well who do who participate in cross country. But no, each year um, it brings something new, like I said, and it's, it's exciting every year. Uh, you want to continue, obviously, what sounds like, with, with running though yeah I, I want to continue collegiately and in track and field and cross country yeah so hopefully have a chance to go where you can run, run both is the hope yeah right? yeah, yeah. Um, any feelers on where you're going to go yet or um, I've talked to a couple coaches at NMSU UNM um, Eastern um, I'm going to keep my options open though because I just want to see how I progress a little bit more and hopefully um, we get it all figured out and what's what's the plans for college you start to think about what you want to study or um, I want to study something related to animals whether it's zoology or pre-vet that's what i think i want to study for sure i'm still unsure on what i like how long i want to be there you know where i want to go track and field you mentioned coming up in the spring we're going to see it what an 800 and what are the races well what's what's your favorite race when you get to cross country um, or when you get to track and field <laughs> i want to say the 800 is my favorite race but it's definitely the one that um, i'm most consistent with so in turn it's probably been the one that's there for me the most 800 atkinson said he's going to throw me in a couple miles this year you'll probably see me in the quarter it just really depends on what's for me that week Relays this year as well? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I hope to continue in the 4x4. Um, we have a pretty good team still. Katie's still with us, and so is Justice. So we're pretty excited for that relay. All right. Well, we'll look forward to that. Coming in the spring, of course, state meet is coming up uh, this Saturday as uh, the cross-country girls, uh, you know, as a team, or are you just – Looking for a solid race and to have a, a good final experience at state? Yeah, I think I'm looking for a good finish in my career, like my high school career. And as a team, I think we're just looking to have fun. We know we're capable of a, of a higher place. Like I think we, we definitely have a shot at third. We're going to go for it, but if we, if we don't hit it, that's fine because I think we're all going to go pretty hard and hopefully it ends with a good finish, yeah. All right, well, let's hope so. That's Saturday in Rio Rancho. Shan, congratulations on being after the week. Thank you.